Hey everybody, it is Will and Jose, and we are about to go to at the Kawasan headquarters and the great thing about the experience is that it's only 3500 baht for the both of us and it includes transportation to the headquarters transportation to the canyoneering experience also as an added bonus it includes lunch as we're getting suited up in our helmets and life vests it's starting to hit you isn't it and it's starting to hit us about to go jump <laughs> off some damn cliffs I'm excited like who would have thought? Cliff jumping before? No, this will be our first time. Our first time, okay. Yes. Nervous. Nervous. Never <laughs> done this before. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just jump. Welcome to Badian Canyoneering Adventure. So your adventure will take three to four hours, but it depends on how many pictures that you will take. Guys, you were here for an adventure, right? Yes. All right, guys, we figured we would introduce our amazing guide. Hello, Go everyone. Introduce... Hello, world. My name is Nico. <laughs> Nico. He's in charge of our safety, so let's hope. It's his first day working. It's his first so. day working. <laughs> yeah. and once you get here, you have two options. You can either do the zip line, which gets you there 30 minutes shorter than the 45 minute trek. But we figured it's early in the morning and we haven't had a workout in, so this will be our workout leading up to the first jump this morning. It's getting real, guys. We can hear the waterfalls at least one of them so here we go all right so you guys probably heard us use the term canyoneering and many of you guys may not know what it is so canyoneering is pretty much just trekking trekking through the jungle side and cliff jumping is it weird that i haven't even experienced it yet but i want to do it again first one is about um eight meters deep Okay. Yeah, six to eight meters deep. It's getting real, guys. We're about to start in a couple minutes, so uh, I'm anxious. My energy level will rise in a few, as it always does. But just let, let me get the first one out of the way, we'll be good. So, ready? Three, two, one, go! Nice, go! Guys, you would think it gets easier as you go from jump to jump, but clearly it doesn't because the height really messes with your perception. And I don't have a fear of heights, but when it comes to jumping into something that you don't know what's underneath, that's where the terrifying part kicks in. But honestly, 10 out of 10, well said at best, and that's better than um, what was it? Better than skydiving. Skydiving. By far. By far. We are halfway through the canyoneering experience and there are little pit stops here where you're able to get anything from uh, barbecue chicken, barbecue pork, and any other refreshments. Will and I opted for the chicken and barbecue stick. Bomb. We haven't had it before. We have to have it. What do you think, Ben? I agree. The pork. The pork yeah. is the way to go. But we're halfway. It's so much fun. And we see a couple of people jumping right after this pit stop, so it might mean that we're not. They said before it used to be more pretty, but it's a typhoon. But honestly, it's beautiful as it is right now. I can imagine it even more beautiful. I'm so, I still get scared, and we've already done like three jumps. Like it gets higher and higher as we go. And I don't even know if I can even do this one, but I guess I have to. They're going to push me. Three. Two, one, go. Nice job. Yeah, boy. All right. This is too crazy, this guy. We're going to do it. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one, and go. Woo!
You have to, if you come to the Philippines, you have to go to the area. And ask for Nico. Severe tropical storm Rai with a domestic name Odette has entered the Philippine area of Super Typhoon Odette, also known as Rai internationally, has made landfall. Hi, Chav Weather here with a video looking at Super Typhoon Rai hitting the Philippines. Over 100,000 residents were evacuated from their homes. So, Nico, can you tell us a little bit about the typhoon that hit Cebu? It hit last about last December. Okay. 2021. Hits South and Bohol. And Bohol is worse. It's worse in Cebu, but worse in Bohol. Here in the Kenyan name, the flood is from the land to the top. It's about 30 meters high, 20 to 30 meters high. So many animals died. Oh. The flash flood of the house, small house, farms, washed away here, coming up to the sea. How and long did it take for the water to recede then? It takes about one week. One week? Yeah, one week or two weeks. One two weeks before the water goes down. Okay. And how was it for you and your family like during the typhoon? Is crying. We thought we're gonna, we gonna die. So this is strong. And, uh, the children is crying and then they, they cannot sleep. Your kids? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my daughter. And how long did the typhoon last in the island? Uh, maybe about first wave, two hours. Second wave, two hours. The second wave is worse than first wave. First wave, and then they rest about 30 minutes. Second wave goes back. The opposite side. That's why the trees cuts down, coconuts cuts down. The house, the roof of the house. Up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. People missing. Flash flood. Boats destroyed. We have nothing to compare it to because we've never been to the Philippines before. But like we see the destruction, like we've seen people that have been with us tell us like that's because of the typhoon. It's like it's a, it's sad because it's like people's livelihood. Road because the trees goes down the road. Electric post cuts down. No right. electric. Water. Oh, bro. Would you say people are still hurting from the typhoon? Like you guys haven't recovered yet? Uh, yes, I've recovered, but some of it not Guys, it was like four months ago. Literally, yeah. like not even four months ago. Yeah, it wasn't even four months ago. <sighs> well, already discovering. Well, thank you so much, thank Nico, you, honestly, thank you so for much. sharing your story. And this is just a great way to show people that what there is to see here in Cebu and how tourism can really help bring back the economy. And yeah, and like like Instagram, we show all the like the like this type of stuff, but like that's not like this is a tiny, tiny, tiny part about it. Like, you know, so it's our job to like I don't know, bring the human touch to it. Yeah. Oh, it was much more narrow. Yeah. That <laughs> That looks so weird. Oh, yeah. it's stuck. Whoa, it's all wrapped around it. Holy. Because of the flood. So it really uprooted everything. It was like. Sorry, I mean to kick you. You're fine. <sighs> did you lose um, power during the typhoon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long did you lose it for? One month and a half. A month and a half? Yes. So what did you guys do for like 
refrigeration and all of that. Refrigeration is about solar, we buy solars. Okay. Candles or some oil. Improvised oil and then some tissue. Right. Salt and oil. <laughs> Make it last longer. Yeah, last longer. I guess as far as like the cleanup, how long did that take of like the... They clean up about one month. One month. Okay. But the highway is about two weeks, three weeks. Okay. They clean up. Okay. Next town is much worse. The road is lumps. Still And then what town is that? Alegria. Alegria? Yeah. Okay. Next town from Ajan. Okay. Like, we're not having fun. We're doing all these things. But, like, the people that live here, the people that are helping us, our guide, like, they have a story. And I think it's important, especially when they go through such devastation, to, like, tell their story. Like, this affected many, 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 many people, the typhoon. And here they are, being the kindest people in the world, trying to make sure we have a good time. So again, it's really important to have that human element. Like, yeah, we're having fun, we're jumping off cliffs, but like, again, there's a story behind it. It's not all beautiful and glam and, and you know, fairy tale. What All right, the most Filipino food we need to try. You know, balut. Sorry, little dude. I gotta do that. Okay. It's very delicious. Savages with that lunch. We were okay. First of all, we didn't eat breakfast, but either way, that is grueling. Uh huh. And when you get back, anytime you're in water, like you get hungry. You do. We were hungry. We were hungry. So, the waterfall. If you do plan on booking a trip, canyoneering, please be aware that it is going to be a long, strenuous excursion. Yeah, you got, you got, you have to climb up and all this stuff. So don't come expecting like flat land and great i'm pretty sure you're not but mm -hmm. point is wear good shoes yeah have a good grip it's 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 fun it's so much fun and then we had the great guy nico literally who the held my hand literally the held my way hand. back down guys i wore the wrong shoe so you got to make sure and book your trip with kawasan kinari and be sure to ask for nico because he's such a great guy he makes everything super easy enjoyable even when you feel the slightest bit of fear and anxiety, he will... He makes it fun. He will make it fun. He makes you laugh and then you forget that you're about to go jump 15, 20 meters off of a cliff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the staff, just no easy feat. And the staff here has been very, very helpful mm -hmm. and just been very generous throughout our time here. Thank you to everyone at Kawasan Community. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You literally made our dream come true. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited. We can't wait to do it again. We're gonna do it again. We really are. We're going to do it again. All right, guys. That 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 concludes this vlog. So um, yeah. See you for later. Thank you.